want to tell you a story about Teresa. Uh, Teresa was a lady who I photographed inside a church. It was about five or six years ago now. Teresa was uh, the grandmother of the groom and uh, I captured this most beautiful photo of her just watching her granddaughter walk down the aisle. So her granddaughter was one of the bridesmaids. The photo was a photo that moved me and moved a lot of people who I showed it to. So I decided to enter it into a photography competition. It was coming up for judging and Jovant, who's one of the most famous uh, wedding photographers ever, he said, this is the most beautiful photojournalistic print that um, I've ever seen entered into these competitions. And my head pretty much exploded in that moment. And he, he's like, this should be awarded and asked everyone else to bring up their scores and, and all that. The image did really well in the awards and a lady came up to me shortly after because she heard some commotion sort of coming from the judging rooms and she thought as she walked past that she might just have a look to see what was happening in the room. She said to me, oh, excuse me, were you the photographer of that image? And I was like, yeah, 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 that, that was my photo. And then I started to walk off and she stopped me and she said, oh, that was my mother-in-law in that photo and she passed away about two weeks ago. Um, I just want to let you know that was the photo that we used in her funeral service and it was the most precious photo that we have of her. And she said, do you mind just waiting a moment here? I want to go and get my husband, which was Teresa's son. And so the son came over, he saw this photo up on the wall and he just started crying. And in that moment I realised I just had it all wrong. I was looking for praise in all the wrong places, somehow thinking that this photo was for me. And I had this most intense guilt at the time, feeling like, yeah, that I just had it all wrong. But what I learned from that moment was that I don't photograph for me, I photograph for the people who get left behind. 